what is going on guys it is your boy Sisso here bringing guys top three designs of the week week number four I just want to start off by saying like thank you guys so much for the support on this series I know I say it but it's a it's a beautiful thing to keep seeing consistent like beautiful awesome support going on here uh we almost hit 100 yo we were so close we were at 97 we were close I wasn't gonna like I don't want to lie and I would be like yo we got over 100 like we gotta get over 100 we're getting super close and the reason why I say this now is because some of you guys last week and I'm talking about this week currently but I'm talking about in for the future week of week number five of course you guys need to submit again there were so many i think i had to pick like three people of course out of uh i think like 32 i picked out of the 97 so that's a big like there's a lot of people that I really, really wanted to put on this. And if you guys submitted last week, I'm not kidding. Please go ahead and submit. If you guys thought like, yo, this is my week right here and you possibly didn't make it, bros, I'm not kidding. Please submit again because I don't want to like cheat and like go to next week's or last week's. I also delete last week's submissions so I can make sure I keep up with the submissions. So please go submit again. It's literally... I. <laughs> I can't, I wish I could just give you guys names that I want to spoil and stuff like that. So please, 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 once again, go submit right now. The link is going to be on the top of the description. So please go ahead and do that right now alongside with number one winner of this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment down any of the cool stuff that you see in the video and be like, yo, number two was like really freaking sick. Like give them like criticism. I almost said like something else, but um, give them criticism and be like, yo, this could have been done. This is really like freaking awesome. I love the way you do this. Make it something really, really fun in the conversation for them to like, actually invest their time and to look at and stuff like that so please and don't forget support the winners like you would want to be supported if you were to win this series yourself so please again submit and uh, enjoy all right guys top the designs of the week week number four number three spot goes to your 3d motion designer slash modeler uh mac he's 20 years old and this dude came up with this really dope project he sent it this thing called a rail project i guess he, it was like a motion 3d motion design either done with v-ray or octane i forgot which one it was but either way it looks super super dope like i couldn't you like Okay, like, if you're a fan of 3D, like, and you're a fan of, like, really, like, getting down and modeling to these really realistic terms and stuff like that, if you guys don't use Octane Render or V-Ray, if you guys can get your hands on that, or even, like, Element 3D for, like, After Effects, so, like, those things are, like, really, really dope. You can't do anything besides appreciate these kind of renders because it's, like, it, it's, 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 it's beautiful. Like, it just looks really, really good. It looks realistic, and it just looks like something out of a movie, and it's just such, it's so awesome. So, like, if you guys want to use that... Please go ahead and do it. He showed a really good example. Uh, Mac showed a really good example of like how, how, how to use it. It just looks so dope. Like, I also know that it takes a crap ton of RAM and just, like, overall computer power to, like, render these kind of things out. So, overall, it's just a really, really dope design. His portfolio had a, a whole bunch of different uh, speed models of just, like, these really dope things that he textures inside Photoshop. He just turns, like, these already beautiful, like, materials and, like, clean, uh, like, atmosphere of, like, whatever his, his, his plane is, right? And then he just freaking makes it look ten times better in Photoshop. So, it's a really, really dope skill to have. It's, like, I can't wait to see if he, like, applies these things to, like, social media banners. He doesn't, he doesn't really do that yet. Maybe he's not into it, but I feel like it'd be really, really dope and it'd be a really good step as well. So, congratulations on the top three spot uh, for third place, of course, and please go follow him on YouTube, I believe it's youtube.com slash Macintosh 141, I believe I said that right, you guys will see it on the bottom of the screen right now, so please go freaking subscribe, he doesn't really have that many subscribers, that's kind of crazy, because he really does deserve it, so we're on to the next one. All right, guys, top three designs of the week. Week number four, number two spot goes to the 3D uh, social media designer known as Sor Zek. Zek, you, like, what the, like, you guys know, you can see the name. Uh, he did this really dope render for, I guess, a client or some kind of person named Jose, uh, Jose, Jose O, I believe, yeah, and he had his logo design, like, split into these, like, really dope little four parts, and, like, it's such a simple design. It's, it's what he does, if you guys look at his portfolio, it's like a freaking, like, it's these really dope and simple, really, really simple 3D renders, but it all comes together with this really dope lighting, and then his gradient work, it just looks so freaking pretty. It's like, it's the word to use. It's pretty, okay? And, like, overall, like, he just has these really smooth, just, like, these smooth 3D renders, and it's it's something, it's honestly something to look at if you guys are looking to, like, you know, be 3D designer. If you if you, you don't always have to think about, like, having these, cr like, cringy, grungy stuff going on with your 3D motion design, or 3D, um... Banner designs. It can it can be something clean like this as well. Like this dude is a really big inspiration if you're looking for doing clean like renders and stuff like that. Because it's 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 beautifully done. It's like a manipulated in a really dope way. Uh, he does these little simple models like the telephone pole one he saw in his social media designs. Like it's also it's just, it's just really dope. Like you can't you can't hate on it. It's just so beautifully done. Like 
Um, just like straight up. That's all I gotta say for that dude right there. However, um, if you guys wanna follow him, his uh, Twitter's at Sorzek. I what the fuck you say? Like seriously? Anyway, um, so yeah, this dude's freaking amazing. Like I can't, I can't really say much. Like I really don't know what else to say. Like he's just dope. Like I saw this, I was like, yo, what the? You know, what are you top three? Is uh, you know, yeah, you so uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to number one spot. Uh, don't forget to follow him on all that cool stuff. Like just straight up beast. Like what? The hell is going on over there all right guys top the designs of the week week number four number one spot goes to the logo designer uh he also has like really dope 2d stuff going on in his portfolio as well but a logo designer known as dan okay what a simple name for a complex man um he said this really cool he uh, i guess it was like a zeal like either like a night shadowy night kind of like uh esports concept going on here his portfolio by the way is by far the prettiest thing i've ever seen in my life like i would love to redesign my website to look something like this because this is just beautifully done it's just like it's so inviting. It has all these different like in the color scheme. By the way, it is like you, know, you guys understand. You guys see the portfolio and stuff. It looks freaking dope, and you can't hate on it. If you do, you're honestly weird. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know what like esports designing is, it's like these cool little mascot logos or or whatever it is. Like having this really cool uh. I guess text logo is really done just dope so it's just it, he does it super super well he's of course not only a logo designer i would presu uh, presume because he has like revamps and twitter uh social media stuff on his website as well but this dude is so clean like presentation is on point like there's no way i could not give this dude first place like it's so it's so beautiful like i don't like do that this is the best thing i've ever did on my channel by far because i can see a whole bunch of different stuff and i hope you guys have been enjoying it as well this dude is literally like freaking awesome as hell so do not forget to follow him uh at twitter uh twitter.com slash d bone d bone our media sure i don't know you guys see it please go follow him oh his link will also be in the description down below so click on that be like yo seso sent me nice beautiful logo designs and be like yo how much is one they can go get a logo you know anyway so thank you guys so much for watching top three designs of the week week number four do not forget to submit for week number five uh do not forget to follow me at sysmhq uh for any updates and cool stuff you want to just be like yo what's up and i want to be like yo how you doing or stuff like that um do not forget to follow and like check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysoHQ for any pre of packs as low as $3. Uh, one of the best packs I have on there is a everything pack where you basically get everything in my store for one price of $30. And then anything that comes out, you'll get emailed to you for free. So it's a pretty dope, like there's no reason not to get it kind of thing. So do not forget to subscribe. Please go uh, freaking submit. Tell all of your friends all that cool stuff. Talk to you guys later. SysoHQ out. Peace.